Hello community, I hope you are doing good. In this discussion, we will see how to translate email template in different languages. And in case you missed previous discussion about how to translate the same email template using Jinja to template from different languages, please check link is given in the description. And if you want to learn more about code with different topics, you can visit the WebLens channel under the playlist. You can see different playlists available with different topic wise with the real test cases and if you need any support related Odoo you can visit the about page and send your query to this email address source code also available in the github make sure you can follow that repository and we have uh, some social media pages make sure also you can follow that pages to get the latest notification. So let's back to our main topic like how you can configure or translate based on the specific language for your email templates. So for example, if I will try to go to in the student profile, right? And I will try to send email. It's automatically send email from the backend side. We already discussed in the email template, right? So right now we are using version 15 community version, all right? and you can see here in this emails you can see this email already sent right we are using this type of uh, this content now let's say based on the configuration right the languages you can see here we already activated these three languages english by default arabic and hindi language now let's say based on the configuration we want to generate the same email template in arabic or in hindi or in the english language all right based on the configuration so here the first thing is we have to export the po file all right so for that like you can see this custom email template module is available we will save in the po file and again we are trying to export in for the hindi language which one the custom email template all right all right so now you can see here for the training custom add-ons this is our custom module and here i will try to create one directory i18 n so name is different so let me rename this one i18 n all right and now i will pass here okay so you can see here this is the hindi language and we have to translate this content into the hindi language now we uh, now what we have to do is simple after this line msg id right this message id we have to copy like this right and after this message str we have to paste here the same code and now one by one we have to translate the content here one more point is if you remember last time we converted our pdf file converted the dynamic data directly from the csv file or po file right there is no major challenges we faced but right now you can see we don't have such set challenges you can see we have a like html code dynamic code plus the static code here right so forget about the dynamic code and the html code here we have to focus only the static one right so you can see here this is the dear student is the static one and this due tag we don't need to convert into any other languages so for this one we are going to front-end side and I will try to copy this one and paste directly here okay and likewise we have to find out if any static code is available we have to copy this one translate and we have to replace that content all right So this is also let's say out of index all 
right and you can see here student birthday school name is we have to we have to also replace this one thank you and also so we will not translate this web lens because it's another meaning right here we can also translate this part the subject itself right sorry not here here student notification and we can add here like this we have to translate this static name and this name content all right so this is only for the hindi language what about the arabic one so we have to do the same thing right we have to copy all this content after this ms msgstr we have to paste here and first thing is we have to check here the respective static code and i will translate into arabic like this and simple i will paste here id out of range all right after that we will convert this part to here student notification t and this part too here you can see we have this one is the static code right this and this and here we have a dynamic code so forgot about the dynamic code we don't need to touch we have to simply translate this static code right and like this okay now this is done okay let me copy this module name and i will simple try to upgrade this module using python configuration and if you don't know how to configure odoo in pycharm please check the editor level playlist i already explained and without any error it successfully upgrades so let's go back and i'm going here into the translate terms and simple i will paste here this module name make sure it's already converted you can see it's already converted here right you can see this is for the arabic and this is for the hindi right now i will try to click to this send mail button right okay now we are going to the emails still you can see it's print in the english language right now what we have to do is simple we have to go to here in this data right and here simple we have to provide field name here lang here we have to provide object dot create underscore uid dot lang lang all right so it means like for example for example if i will go to here you can see three records created by mark demo 
and four records created by odbots right now let's say based on the user's preference languages it's automatically translate that template into that specific language so here in in our case if i will go to here and i will change the preference language is hindi all right Another thing is make sure we can upgrade this module and I will open this school sorry student profile and I will click to this send email. Now we have to go to in the emails and you can see Chhatra Shuchna the subject it's already changed into the Hindi language right why because the created user is mark demo and the preference languages for that mark demo is the hindi language let me choose one more another language right arabic one simple i will try to click to the send button and again i will go to here email now you can see it's available in arabic also right so like this way you can also translate your email template using this lang as a field and we have to provide here the dynamic language based on the field okay so it is not compulsory you can use this create underscore uid you can create a res user model or res partner this is by default having language field right so we can use existing one but let's say if you don't if you are not using res user model or res partner model but you are using your custom module and you want to also translate based on the such configuration that is also possible for that you have to create your own language or you can use something like this okay in custom module also possible so like this way you can translate one language to another language your qhub email template all right so if you have any doubt related to this topic please comment below and see you in next session